I'm Christy, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really classic, sultry makeup look that I think is perfect for Valentine's Day no matter what you're doing, whether you're going out for Valentine's Day, whether you're sitting in, in your pyjamas on Valentine's Day, it's still nice to look nice and of course you can just wear this kind of anytime, it's just like a really classic look that you can kind of wear for any night out or day to day doesn't have to be specifically for Valentine's Day, but I just think it would be nice on Valentine's Day. Also, I just feel like saying I have not even made the effort to get out of my pyjamas for this video, but I'm sticking to the reason that I haven't got out of my pyjamas is because they're kind of Valentine's themed. Sorta. You're my lobster. That's romantic, isn't it? That's kind of Valentine's Day. That's obviously why I've kept them on, not just because I'm extremely fucking lazy. So I'm going to start with my base makeup today because I'm not expecting to have too much fallout from my eyes and I only ever do my eye makeup first if I think I'm going to do a lot of fallout. I just think that my full makeup altogether turns out generally a lot better if I have my base down first. So I'm going in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. I'm in the shade Nude L3 and I'm also going in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer and I can't remember what shade I'm in in this but I'm just going to speed by this step quickly because I think I've done this exact same kind of foundation and concealer on a video like a good few times now anyway so it's not all that interesting to kind of watch again or go in depth about so I'm just going to do it. And then before I move on to the rest of the skin, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrate and Setting Spray and just kind of spray that all over my face. And I'm just patting over that with my sponge again. This will just help to keep everything nice and hydrated and dewy looking. Hopefully keep my makeup on for a little bit longer. And then I'm taking this Precision Contouring Crane by Collection I'm in the shade Medium 2 and I'm just going to run that under my cheekbones, on my forehead a little bit, down the sides of my nose just to kind of start to kind of create a little bit of a shadow and a little bit of warmth to my face. I'm going to buff this out with a sponge but I just feel like on the jawline area it's just so much easier to blend out with a brush. That contouring stick blends out so easily and it really doesn't look like there's anything on my skin. It just looks like a kind of natural warmth and shadow in my face, which I really like. I'm just taking some powder and setting under my eyes because for some reason this concealer is creasing like a motherfucker. However, a motherfucker creases. For highlighter, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. Broke. I just love this highlighter. Sometimes I stray away and I go and use other ones, but I always come crawling back to this one. Like that is just so no highlighter can compare. I've decided. Doesn't matter how much I like another highlighter, this one will always win. I want this look to be really glowy, so I'm taking this up onto my temples and just above my brow bone as well. I need to get rid of this under my eyes because I feel like it's aging me about two million years. Blending over the top of that highlighter with my sponge. If you've seen my videos before you'll know that I like to do this. It just makes the highlight look a little bit more natural and less like it's sitting on top of my skin. I like to do this after mm, near enough like every step in my skin routine to be honest. It does dull the highlighter down slightly but I would rather just like add a little bit more and then blend and that way it does just keep it looking more natural otherwise it can just look like a big stripe and that's not the look I'm going for. I don't like to highlight right down the bridge of my nose, I just like to do this little part here in between my eyes and then on the tip of my nose as well. I don't think I suit the highlight like all the way down. Is the lighting in here really dodgy or what? Is it just me? 
I've just turned the light down a little bit because I felt like you couldn't really see anything that was happening on my face because the light was so bright. I'm still getting used to this kind of lighting setup thing. I'm not very good at that type of thing. So hopefully it does improve over time. For bronzer, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Blush Palette and I'm going to dip in uh, this shade here and this shade here. This one has like a little bit of shimmer to it. Not too much, but um, I don't mind that. Just going to go in with a big brush and diffuse that out now. I don't know why, I just find it a lot easier to use a little brush to place it and kind of get the most of it on and then just use a bigger one to blend it out. I just feel like it helps me blend it a lot easier. What the fuck? Is my lighting going dodgy? I don't know if it is, but to me it looks like I just have like the biggest, palest, whitest face ever. And I'm just kind of patting it along the sides of the forehead because I don't want to move my makeup about too much, like my foundation and stuff. I want to keep that kind of in the same place. And then I'm going to go into the Flower Beauty Contouring Palette and I'm going to use this contouring shade here right under my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose to create a little shape. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to put as much just on this side as well because I need to even it up. But I did not intend for it to be that strong. But it'll be okay once I've blended it. Okay, I'm just going to take whatever's left on my brush and run it down the side of my nose. Because I don't want that to be looking as wild as my cheekbones are. But that's another great thing just about going in with the beauty blender over top. It kind of evens everything out and you've, even if you've put way too much product on you can kind of push it around and make it look slightly more toned down. Okay I'm then going into this very pink blush shade from the Flower Beauty palette and I'm going to put that on the apples in my cheeks and kind of blend it up into my contour and highlight just to bring everything together. I'm just taking my loose powder on my sponge and using that to clean up this contour a little bit. Not taking it all the way down really strong, just kind of on the kind of half that's closest to the... Where was I even going with that? On this half ear... <laughs> just kind of like from my ear a bit here. Like not all the way down to my mouth. And when there's not as much powder on my sponge, I am dragging it down a little bit. Okay, I'm taking that James Charles and Morphe palette because apparently I can't seem to use anything else. And I'm going to go in with this. Oh, I should probably get the thing with the shade names if I can find it. This is why you should print the shade names on the palette. It's fine. Okay, I can't find the sheet of paper with the shade names on anywhere. No idea where it is. So I'm just going to point and you can see what colour it is that I'm using anyway. So yeah. Also I accidentally stuck my finger in this pink shade here and then stabbed it right on my eye. So if you can see like a little bit of pink here, that's what that is. Okay, the first shade I'm going to go into is this shimmery gold shade here. And I'm just taking that on like a kind of loose fluffy brush like this and dusting it all over my eye lid area. I've just actually decided to switch to a much bigger brush like this. It's like the same vibe, but this one's a lot fatter. Just so that I can lightly dust the colour all over my eyelid and take it up to my brow bone as well. I'm then going to go into that same shade again, but I'm just going to take it on my finger and pat that, we'll kind of drag that from halfway like starting half, like on the centre of my eyelid basically and dragging it out. Just like that, not being really neat with it. I do want this to be kind of, not like slept in looking makeup, but kind of effortless style vibe I'm going for. I am going to do like a full on like glam pinky purple um, Valentine's tutorial as well, but I just wanted this one to be a little bit more wearable and a little bit doable for kind of everyone basically. I'm just taking my brush and swooping back and forward to blend that out. I am then going to go into this 
pearly white shade here that's a little bit champagne-y. Yeah, that's what I would say. Pearly white and a little bit champagne-y. I have a feeling that cover's called ring light, but I don't actually know. I'm just taking that and putting that on the inner part of my eye. Just to brighten it up. Just using this same brush still. And then just blend over top of those two colours, smooshing them together. Smoosh, 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 smoosh. Colour sufficiently smooshed. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that gold colour and pop it on the centre. Again, just over top of where I've done it before. Should I maybe zoom you in a tiny bit? I probably should. Then in with a slightly more brownie toned gold here, I'm just taking that on my finger again and um, I'm going to rub on this one and pat on this kind of reddish one next to it, just gently. Rub on that one and pat on that one. Okay then. And I'm just using that on the outer corner of my eye. I will actually link the shade names in kind of order of what I've used them in in the description box below. Um, if I can't find my plastic thing, I'll just look it up online what the shade names are. And of course, you don't have to use this exact same uh, palette that I'm using. You can just use whatever you want. Um, whatever kind of... I feel like most people are going to have some form of neutrals palette in the house if they wear makeup. Maybe you don't, but I feel like these... Similar-ish colours are relatively accessible from other palettes. And I kind of want all the colours on the lid to just kind of messily blend into one another. So I'm just smoking that back and forward a little bit. I'm going to dip into those two shades again on a little fluffy brush like this one. Pat off any excess and just run that up above my crease mainly focusing on like the really actually only focusing on the outer part of my eye I'm not taking it far into my tear duct or anything at all just kind of above where we already put those colours to be honest and then taking this big brush again just to diffuse that all out I don't want anything on this to look too perfect and put together Um, I want it like I said to just be like a kind of effortless makeup look that you could have only took minutes to do it, but you've probably spent about half an hour doing it. Okay, and with this shade here, it's just like a kind of cool toned, medium-ish brown shade. And I'm taking a little flat brush like this so that I can be quite precise with my place mint. Taking that, tapping off any excess, and I'm going to run that along the inner part of the top of my lash line. I'm basically just taking this from like my tear duct to where my eyelashes start and um, of course your eyes are probably different to mine so you're just going to have to kind of judge it really. If you have bigger eyes than me you would maybe want to take this colour a little bit longer. If you have smaller eyes than me you would maybe want to take the colour a little bit short or just kind of play about with it and see, see what you fancy. This nose contour is so dodgy and I know that you can see how dodgy it is because you're so close in my face. How embarrassing. Okay, and then with this matte cranberry shade here, I'm going to stamp that along the kind of middle section of my lash line. Just taking that same brush again. And I've just cleaned off my little brush so there's no product on it and I'm just going to back and forward blend over top of this what I've just done because I do want it to be quite smoky and again messy and effortless looking. And what I'm going to do is go in with this really deep cool toned brown colour and run that along the outer part of my eye. I'm sure you could have guessed that's what I was going to do. I'm just going to deepen that cranberry shade up a little bit. Need it to be a little bit more intense next to that dark brown. Patting over everything just to keep it nice and blended. 
I am then switching to a little angled brush and I'm going into the black shade in the palette. It's called Spooky. Some of the shade names I do remember. And I'm just using this angled brush to create a little wing. And what I love about using eyeshadows to do a winged liner is because with like a kind of pen or like any kind of liquid liner, I feel like you need to be really precise and get it really crisp. But if you're using an eyeshadow and it's supposed to look kind of powdery and um, not powdery, but like more smoky, you don't have to be too precise or have everything looking like really symmetrical or really perfect. But you can still achieve that really nice cat eye look without stressing yourself out about having the most perfect liner in the world. And I'm switching back to that little brush I had been using before and I'm just smoking out the top of this. Okay, I've just took those wings a little bit longer because I messed them up. I didn't want them to be as long as that, but you get what life gives you. My base makeup looks like shit today. I don't know why. Like my eyes are like so creasy and it is breaking up so much around my face. What the fuck is happening? Oh, that's not an attractive face. On this small little brush, I'm dipping into that cranberry shade and I'm just running that along my lower lash line. Just on the outer half. And then on the inner half, I'm going in with that first gold shade that we used. Oh my god, this fallout is going fucking everywhere. I'm like so messy and all over the place today. <laughs> just today. Yeah, okay. And then I'm just going in with a fluffier brush and blending back and forward to smoke that out. I'm going to quickly pop off and do my mascara, lashes and eyebrows off camera and then I will be back to do my lips. Okay, mascara and lashes are done. This is what it's looking like now. The mascara I used was the Mascara Revolution by Makeup Revolution and the lashes I have on are the Ardell Baby Demi Wispies. They're just really little and they're more thickening and they are a little bit longer at the outer corner than they are at the inner corner. They kind of do this kind of shape which helps to kind of add to this cat eye look. They're quite a natural lash which I decided to go for because I just felt like if um, I wore anything fuller or longer than this it would totally take away from the work I'd just done on my liner which would be a little bit pointless so next I'm going to be going on to lips I'm going to be attempting to do a sort of ombre-ish look so honestly this could go either way first of all I'm going to line my lips with this NYX slide on glide on stay on and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme colour lip liner open brackets this lip liner is so good the name had to be this long close brackets I love saying the name of this and it's in the shade Urban Cafe. And I'm also just going to fill in like the outer part of my lips slightly. And this tiny little brush that I had been using for my eyeliner, I've just cleaned it off and I'm going to use this to kind of smoke out the line a little bit by just blending back and forward over the top of it and kind of pulling it in towards the centre of my lip. You can use your finger to blend it a little bit. And then with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics teeny tiny little red rum velour liquid lipstick, I'm going to go over top of that. Uh, my lips are so dry and crispy, I'm not even kidding. It looks so disgusting on my really dry lips, so you're just going to have to pretend that my lips look fine. Is my lighting being dodgy again? Because I honestly feel like right now I just look like a pair of lips and two eyes and the rest of my face is just white. I hope that when I go back to edit it, it doesn't look like that, but I have turned my ring light like down so far. Like I'm going to be in the dark if I turn it down anymore. And then I'm just going to really lightly go in with this lip liner again and just kind of go over my lip line a tiny bit. 
So that is the end of the video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!